Begin to bless God, begin to bless God. Begin to bless God and give God praise tonight. If you feel like clapping, clap. If you feel like clapping, clap. Bless God and worship God tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Somebody, is anybody grateful tonight? Oh, are you grateful? Hallelujah. Celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Glory to God. In the next 10 minutes, you want to worship God. Come on. You want to lift your voice right now. Give the Lord the fruit of your womb right now. The fruit of your lips. Lift your voice and bless the Lord. Come on. If the Lord has been good to you, don't, expect, don't be expected to be told. Just lift your voice and lift your hands and honor the Lord. Then we said, I'll bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. You have to come to a place to know that worship is not only about songs. Come on, lift your hands and bless the Lord. Somebody lift your voice and worship. Give the glory, Jesus. We give the glory, Jesus. Come on, in those 30 seconds. Lift your voice. Give the glory, Jesus. Give the glory, Jesus. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. You wanna join the angels tonight? Lift your eyes and help me say, I am good to Now, yes, so everybody lift your eyes, your voice and say, Woo, yo, ya, me, yeah, what's that? The Roba Shena Bara Devana, yeah, yeah, good to all. For tonight, now you saw with our heart open and hands lifted. I will say, Who you're now as the instruments play, lift your voice one more time and give the Lord your worship. <laughs> Allow somebody worship for you. Worship is all about the songs we sing. Ayada, the power of the worship. He's the God that never changes. He's the God that remains the same. He's the God of the same yesterday, today, and forevermore.
married somehow, we didn't know what happened. Let's say COVID came and took some lives away. But you could be those people who died. By the way, some people were sleeping in air conditioning houses. There were no mosquitoes. Well balanced food. They were eating all of them. But somewhere, somehow, some were diagnosed with pneumonias and malarias and things. And you, you know, you know where you sleep. The kind of mosquitoes that are there. But yesterday, you didn't know what happened. Huh? God still kept you alive. Huh? That is what we are saying. That he is that faithful God. Huh? Ah, we have every cause to give it up unto him. Huh? I don't know if you understand. But just look at your sister standing right before you. And ask yourself, what about if that sister or that brother were not to be alive? How would you have felt? Some of us, God, in his wisdom, has kept us. Some of us, we are complaining about the things that we don't have. Yes, some people are in the hospital beds and they are ready to give out anything, everything that they have so that they will have life. Uh, and God has given it to you uh, on the silver platter. We have every cause to give it up on him. Uh. Oh, Jesus. He deserves it. You know, this evening I want us to thank God. Some of us, we have to thank God. For, you know, men, some people were laid off their jobs because of COVID. And you, you know you are not qualified for that job. And yes, still you were kept. Yes, still they maintain you yes, in that officer. Uh, oh, why don't you have that because to give it up on him? Uh, who are some people during the COVID? Some people were crying in their rooms and their homes. Uh, oh. Even they came on social media and they were saying they don't have what to hear. Uh, and God made the way for you. Uh, you had summer, you had summer, you were able to pay your bills. Uh, and yes, so you are here yes, alive yes. and kicking. Uh, Oh, ba la la la, kaje ukbe lehi. Oh, eja kisbo, jimoni ukbo. I don't know if you understand this song. Kaje elo. Israel says so. Hey. If I have been the Lord on your side, hey. then let us say it. But if I have been the Lord, hey. why can't you lift up your voice hey. and bless God for your family? Hey. 
bless God for your life. Uh. Bless God for his provisions. Uh. You are saying out of your order. You are being that faithful God. Uh. You are being that faithful God. Uh. I want to thank you, oh God. Uh. I want to bless your holy name. Uh. In the name of Jesus, uh. lift up your voice uh. and bless God. Uh. You are saying that, oh God. Uh. I thank you uh, for what I have. Uh. I thank you for what I don't have. Uh. I thank you for what you are able to do in my life. Uh. In the name of Jesus, uh, oh, lift it up to God, uh, lift it up to his holy name, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we want to bless your holy name, uh, we want to say thank you, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I am a Kabade, I am Kaya Dadaba, I lick a no Saba, I lick a Baba, I am a Baba. We thank you, Lord. We bless you in the name of Jesus, O God. David says something. He says that thank be to God. Who do not give us as a prey to the teeth of the enemy? Huh? Come on. Ah, you didn't know what happened. Huh? The Bible says that he sets his senior charge over our lives. Huh? Yeah. And now saying God make sure that our feet will our never feet. hit any stone. Yeah. Some of us we are disappointed. Because that guy broke our hearts. That relationship didn't work. Huh? But for all you don't know, hey. God is working out something. Yeah. Huh? If I were to be you, even when I thought God had disappointed me, I'll still praise him because he is God. There is one thing that I know about my God. He knows how to manipulate situations to work for his children. Maybe you are crying over that guy and you are crying over that job or contract that you lost. But I mean to inform you, it was for a reason. Ah, You said you want a white man. And when that Ofrida Abino came into the line and the guy went off, you thought God had disappointed you. For all you know, he's taking that thing away that he brings in the better one. Listen, we have every cause to give it up unto him. Uh. We are still lifting up our voice. Uh. Yeah. We are saying that, oh God, we thank you. Uh. We thank you no, we thought we've we lost it all. No, we thought it didn't hey, work out for us. Uh. But we know one thing. Uh. All things work together for hey. our own good. Uh. Yeah. And we still want to thank you, thank you Lord. Lord. We still want to bless your holy name. Uh. Why can't you lift up your voice uh. and bless God? Uh. Oh, the same writer said, uh, I have learned to praise him uh, in the good times and in the bad times. Uh. Why you, can't you bless God? Uh. Why can't you, you give him that praise? Uh. In the name of Jesus, uh. lift up your voice uh. and give it up to him. Uh. Lift up your voice. Uh. You are saying that, oh God. Uh. I thank you, oh God. Uh. I thank you for my family. Uh. I thank you for your goodness. Uh. In the name of Jesus. Uh. We thank you, O Lord. We bless your holy name. I am the no Saba. I am Kaya Doa. I am a Kaba. I am no Korea Papa. We give you the praise, Lord. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. I am no Saba. I am Kado Saba. In the name of Jesus. I am Kado Saba. I am Papa no Kaya Dada. We give you the praise. We are blessing God. We are saying that, oh God. We thank you for Allah, Sire. You are blessing God for his miracles. Allah, Kato, Sabalaba, Ayababa, no Kata. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, oh God. We give glory to you, Jesus. We still want to thank God. Listen, God has been good to LSI. You don't know. People have testimonies. Some of us we have testimonies. Yes. And yes, still some people are having testimonies. Until today is over. I know we we'll still have those testimonies. Amen. We are saying that oh God, we thank you. 
We thank you for the life of our head. We thank you for the pastoral board. We thank you for every worker in we LSI. You, Although there were certain things we are looking at to, and we didn't see, there is one thing that we know. You have begun the journey with us. Uh, and yesterday you held us and we are going. Uh, we want to thank you, oh God. Uh, we want to bless you. Uh, oh, why can't you lift up your voice uh, and give it up to God? Uh, you are saying that, oh God, we thank you, we bless you. Uh, we give you the praise. Uh, you are saying that, oh God, uh, for the many miracles. For the, for the thanksgiving, the for the blessings, for, for the testimonies, testimonies. We, we want to thank you. you. We want to give you the praise you the in the name of Jesus. We, we, you you are, we are saying that of God, you are a good God, you are a merciful God. We bless your holy name. We give it up praise to God in the name of Jesus. Ayakaba no saba, ayakaya no saba, iyadada balaba, ayakada ba. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, O God. We give it up praise in the name of Jesus, O God. You are a good God. You are a good God. We thank you, O God, for the miracles, O God. We thank you for the testimonies. We thank you for how far you have brought us, O God. We give you the praise in the name of Jesus, O God. With a grateful heart, we say, Thank you. Oh, your batampa. Now, you are my case. Oh, no. And my loved ones, I bless you, O God, because you are faithful, God. You have remained, you have remained, you have remained a faithful God unto me. You have not dealt with me. You have not dealt with you me. Have not dealt with me. You have not dealt with me. According to my doings. According to my doings. But by your grace. But by your grace. And by your mercy. And by your mercy. I am still alive. I am still alive. I bless you. I bless you. For ending this year with me. And I thank you. And I thank you. For starting. For starting. Next year. This year. With me. With me. Let your name be praised. Let your name be praised. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be glorified. I know. I know. In my good times. In my good times. And in my bad times. In my bad times. You have been there with me. You have been there with me. So I thank you. So I thank you. That you have been a good God. you have been a good God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Why can't you give the Lord a mighty clap offering? Hallelujah. Oh, why don't you give the Lord?
for the club offering. No, 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 no. Why don't you give the Lord a club offering? I can't feel it. I don't know why we are so dull tonight. But if you are like me and you have a thousand and one testimonies and you have every cause to celebrate God for being alive tonight, then lift your voice, lift your voice, give the Lord a shout. No, 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 no. We are not there yet. Look, there are thousands and millions of people buried six feet under. Hallelujah. If you are like me and you are alive and you have breath, then give the Lord a resounding shout. Oh, give the Lord a clap of his someone. Begin to praise God. Someone lift your voice and praise the Lord. Someone, ah, don't stand there like God has not done anything for you. Papa, 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 Father, we praise you tonight. Father, we exalt you tonight. Oh, don't get tired of praising God. Glory unto your name, God. Please, if you are not 70 years old or you, are, you don't have any condition to sit down, I want you to just stand to honor God because you are alive tonight. Some people wish they were alive. They are not here. We praise you, O God. Oh, somebody, don't get tired. We praise you, Holy Name of God. Even the stars praise you. 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 Let everything that is breath you. Let it praise God. Tonight, O Father, we exalt you in this place. We acknowledge you. We say you are God and you are King. Praise God from whom all mercies flow. Praise, please can you help me? Yeah, below. Praise. Sorry for the key, and sorry for the key, just give me Praise Father, son, say Praise Father, and Holy Ghost And Holy Praise Father, son, and Holy Ghost
2021 has been tough. Uh, but we are here, we are here. And we are at a very strategic place to enter, to transition into 2022. We want to pray tonight and dedicate 2022 into the hands of God. Now we are going to go ahead of time. And we are going to mark January. We are going to mark February. We are going to mark March. April, May, June, July, August. September, October, November, December. Some of you, when we are praying, don't joke. Because some of us, the enemy has time bombed our names. So some of you, he has programmed something to explode in March. Some of you, it will explode in January. Some of you, it will explode in March. But we are going to counteract. We are going to rearrange in everything. Name of Jesus. Do you agree with me somewhere? Yes, sir. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Tonight, tonight as I raise my voice, as I, I, raise my I voice, engage the blood. I engage the blood. I engage the blood. I engage the blood of Jesus. I release the blood. I release the blood. Over 2022. Over 2022. Over January. Over January. Over February. Over, February. Over, February. Over March. Over March. Over April. Over April. Over May. Over May. Over June. Over June. Over July. July. August, August, September, September, October, October, November, November, December, December. As I pray, as I pray, and I jump my hands, and I, jump my hands. I cover the year, I cover the year. with the blood. Someone jump my hands, and I pray. In the name of Jesus, 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 Some of us are just standing, don't stand. You are praying for yourself, you are praying for your spouse, your children, your family, your mother, your father. You don't want to hear a bad report, even in 2022. Do you agree with me? We are intercepting satanic traps, in the name of satanic Jesus. schemes, orchestrations, manipulations, incantations. We are projecting the blood. Yeah. We are entering, we are going ahead of time. Jesus. And we are covering the whole of 22 by the blood. with blood. By the blood. Are you with me? Yes, Not sir. the blood of man or bulls or rams. But the blood of the Lamb of God. Someone raise your voice and pray. Yes, my last but one prayer topic hallelujah 
we are praying that God, anything that we have lost uh, by the ravaging anything. hands of COVID-19 and by the ravaging hands of, of the economies of men, we are saying that as we enter 2022, let the east wind of restoration, Jesus. let it blow and restore. Yes, Lord. Some of us lost our jobs. Our job, Some of our us, job. the contract was just about to happen hey. and it was cut short. Some all kinds of things happened. We are praying for the wind yes. of restoration. restoration. Someone jam your hands and pray. In the name ah, of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Finally, we are praying. There's a move of God in living streams. There's a move of God over the body of Christ. And it is a shift. And God is rearranging. Wealth is being transferred into the hands of the godly. There are going to be financial miracles. Yeah. It will spring forth. Amen. And you will see in you the name of Jesus. Mark me and mark Ayato yourself. We will stand there and testify. The chest of heaven has been broken. And the, 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 the treasures of eternity have been poured out. And God is going to bring a financial miracle into this house. Amen. Don't think that this house is going to be built by your calculation. God is going to do something. Second Kings chapter 7. The man said, ah, are you sure it's going to happen? He said, you will see with your eyes. You will behold. And you see the financial miracle of God. It is the economy of heaven. We are praying finally and we are releasing the economy of heaven into the house. The we are releasing Jesus. the economy of heaven yeah. into the body of the Christ. Economy of ah, heaven. someone begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We pray with God. We pray with God. Let the name of Jesus. 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 Ya <laughs> Let it break forth. He said, In the last days, the man that will be let up for us, let wealth begin to jump on the street. Oh, why don't somebody, why don't you just appreciate this wonderful man of God, Pastor Danny, for such a powerful time of prayer in God's presence. Hallelujah. Oh, I like the words of Jesus. One day he was talking to his disciples, he looked at them. He said, this parable spoke he unto them, saying, unto this end, men ought to pray and not to faint. Why don't you turn to somebody and tell the person that you are forbidden to faint. You are not permitted to faint. I like it when the Bible said that, for be not weary in well doing. He said, for in due season, if you faint not, you will reap. Turn to someone and tell the person, I see your harvest coming. Or tell the person, I see your harvest coming. Or if you believe that, why don't you shout and scream and give God some praise? 
Hallelujah. Oh, I said hallelujah. Wonderful. Can I just take one minute to obey God? I want to just take one minute to obey God. You know, last week God gave me an instruction after delivering me from a ghastly accident. Is that word correct? Met ghastly, wonderful. God just delivered me and God said that from January to now, many of you are like me here. He delivered you from accidents, deliverances, divine escape, many things. Oh, I thought somebody was clapping. And God said that, I, I, just, I just want you to tell my people to just take a seat. Just take an offering, come and lay it at the altar. If you are here and you brought your seat, why don't you just come and lay it at the altar? And what we are doing is that the altar, this is where Papa stands to minister. And in Bible days, you realize that any time they went to the altar, they placed a sacrifice on the altar. And you know what they were doing? They were empowering the voice of the altar to speak. And that is what we are doing tonight. We want to empower the altar to speak. And the altar is going to speak and lay the foundation for your establishment this year. You didn't hear what I said. I said the foundation for your marriage is going to be laid. I said the foundation for your career is going to be laid. Oh, if you believe that, why don't you shout and scream, give God praise. Oh, there are ushers all around with envelopes. You want to just take a seat and put it. You want to take a seat and put it very quickly. I just have one minute. Just come and drop it on the altar. There are people asking for envelopes. Please, everybody here should do it. It doesn't matter the amount, but I believe that God, one way or the other, has done something for you. And you just want to appreciate God with a thanksgiving offering and a thanksgiving seed. Why don't you do that very quickly and let us get on with another prayer. Very quickly, very quickly. You want to bring it? Just drop it at the altar. Everybody here must do it. You see, sometimes people, you see, sometimes people, people are just deceived by the enemy. One of the things that I have come to realize is that the only way up is through giving. Anybody who does not give you will struggle and suffer and you will be, it will be difficult for you to make it. Look, if, if, if prayer is the only thing that guarantees your prosperity, go to Akira Mountains. All those guys there, they will be more wealthy than Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. But I tell you what, it is not only prayer. Sacrifices also has a role to play. So why don't you just come up here and just come and drop the offering. Just put something in an envelope. It's a foundation for your establishment next year. Just come and drop it at the altar. And I believe that a shift is about to take place. Hallelujah. Oh, why don't you just come? Everybody here, you want to partake. All the people at the top. If you're a young woman or you're a young woman, take money from your mother and shift some things in your life by dropping this money on the altar. And as the man of God stands to minister, we are engaging the voice of the altar. Somebody just, 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 just come and do it. Just do it. Just obey God. Just obey God. Shadrach, are you with me? We team be war, I am a dead. Let me see, I am a team be war, I am a dead. Every day, so quick, so big. I have a witness here. Emma, you are my defeat. Bear me. Let's take it one more time. Dimi wa, let's go. Yeah, 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 Let your words and say, Man, to love, yeah, who don't wanna do you, what you know to see. Oh, yes, to be a stone in the jail. It in my Amen. 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 I am 
In the next two minutes, we'll be praying for Papa. But this morning, as I was meditating upon God and as I was having my quiet time, the Lord said to me a few things that I want us to pray on. You know, we are in a kingdom that is operated on certain principles. The Bible said in Matthew 6, 33, it said that seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And it said, and all other things have been added unto you. I tell you, we are living in days that the equation has been turned around. We are seeking all, the old, all those other things and we are struggling. The Lord was telling me this morning that, can you tell my people to bring them, that they should, they should, I, I'm looking for a relationship with them. I'm looking for somebody who will be responsible in the house of God. I'm looking for somebody who will not come to a place where they are only, always praying and asking that, what can I do for them? But I want a relationship. For in this life, if only you have a relationship with me. I like something the Bible said in Mark 10, 29. It said that there is nobody who has left houses, has left cars, has left sisters, has left brethren, who shall in this world inherit all these things and eternal life, the world to come. God is saying, and God is calling somebody, come to the place of having a relationship with me. Come to the place of having a relationship with me. Paul said the other day that I may know him and the suffering of his shame be made conformable unto his death. Is somebody here willing? That is, is somebody here ready? That is willing to enter into a deep relationship with God. You have come to a place where you are so busy that you don't even have time to pray. You have come to the place where you are so busy that you have not have time to study the word of God. You have all the excuses in the world. But God is saying that, beloved, can you relax and make some time for me? All the things that you are looking for, if you make some time with me, I have the power and the ability yeah. to bring all those things to pass. Can somebody lift up your hands this evening with me? Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I have backslidden. I have come to the place where I have rejected you. Today, I repent. I seek for a fresh start. I seek for a fresh relationship with you. Can you open your mouth and begin to pray? Cry out unto God. Cry out unto God. Pray that seed and passion for the things of God will begin to burn in your heart such never such as never before. It's a seal for my father's house has consumed me. Can I hear somebody pray? Can I hear somebody cry out? Can I hear somebody Somebody saying, God, I have gone my own way. It's a lead not on your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him, and it's a direct above. The how can a man keep his way clean by taking him down onto the way? He said, That word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. The big book of the Lord cannot depart out of my mind. But thou shalt meditate day and night to observe and to do what? For by this thou shalt make thy way prosper. God is calling. Somebody for a relationship. God is calling somebody for a relationship. God is calling somebody for a relationship. You have gone and done your own thing for far too long. Can you relax? Can you pause? I said, Father, I am ready. Use me. Use me. Use me. Ili Allah Asule Ele Baluaya Aso Olima Atubi Ilaye Uesinde Le Evinde Le Atuba Alias Alondo Lobo Sinde Le Evaya Ima Tunde Le Kapahaya In the name of Jesus, breathe a stress upon your people of God. Breathe a stress upon your people of God. We have walked our own way. We have gone wayward. But tonight, in the name of Jesus, on this 31st night, we are coming back to a place of a trust that touch our heart, break our stony and our hardy heart. Do a new thing with our life, oh God. In the end, do a life. Our heart pointed after the water breaks. Just as the deer pointed us. If my Allah see Allah Mahaya, I do bele, I do bele Mahaya. Let there be fresh fire. Let there be fresh sea. Let there be fresh water. In the name of Jesus, let the seal of the Lord consume the people of God. Right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we don't have time. We are praying, we are saying that God make me responsible in your house. God, bring me to the place where I will, I will serve you with my talent, my treasures, and my, my, my resources. My talent, my treasures, and my time. You want to pray that prayer?
people of God, we have gone our way for far too long. We have done our own things for far too long. We, are, we do everything, but when it comes to the work of God, when it comes to the house of God, we give excuses. But I believe that God is speaking to somebody this evening. I believe that on this 31st, that God is calling you. He says, son, come home. Daughter, come home. I want to have a relationship with you. I, make, I want to make you responsible of prayer. I want to make you responsible of protocol. I want to make you responsible of the choir. I want you to be responsible for something in my house. I know the thing that you need. If you just leave those things and you focus on my work and you give me attention I have the power and the ability yeah. to give you all the things that yeah. you need can somebody just lift up your hand yeah. say heavenly father heavenly tonight, tonight I want to fresh start with you want want tonight oh God tonight, tonight, oh break God. my heart Break my heart, break my study heart, make me responsible over something in your house. Can somebody lift up your voice and begin to pray? That you will be responsible for something in the house, that you will be responsible for a work in God's house in the name of Jesus. Except for but it is required of stewards that they be found faithful. But if thou hast not been faithful to that which belongs to another man. God will not give unto you your own. In Lema Adahaya, a Pantatara Nadabaya, a We give you praise. We give you the glory. We want to pray. We want to pray for Papa tonight. And I am seeing Papa, just like Moses, who has come to the Red Sea. Be beside him is the mountain, behind him is the Egyptians. But I came to say to somebody today that the Egyptians which you see today, tomorrow you see them no Amen. more. You didn't hear what I said. I said that Egypt stands for bondage. Egypt stands for poverty. Egypt stands for lack. Egypt stands for anything that perpetrates the cause of sin and oppresses the purposes of God. And the Lord is saying to somebody that the first thing which you do today, in 2022, as the man of God lives at, you will see them no more. Oh, I thought somebody who shout and scream and give God praise. We are praying for the man of God. We are praying for strength. We are praying that he will have the ability to descend that which God is downloading unto him. We are praying that may God touch his tongue with the ghost of fire. Let God grant him utterance for the precision of speech. May he speak according to the ability that God gives without the restrictions or the limitations of men. Somebody lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up the father of the house. Father, Papa is before your throne. Grant him utterance. Grant him utterance. Grant him utterance. The ability to download heavenly information. The ability to the Lord, transform the world in the name of Jesus. Rebuke the spirit of hell. Rebuke the spirit of time. Rebuke the spirit of divinity. I command it to die down in the name of Jesus. Let your man seven come through, such as never before. Let your man seven come through and speak a word that will bless. Speak a word that will lift up. Speak a word that will deliver. Speak a word that will exalt. Speak a word that will transform, change the lives of your people in the name of Jesus. Apala atuli di ilebe, ipada da bahada haya, asua la adias, atelo mo osia, ila mo haya, atuele he. We pray for an open heaven. We pray for the voice of approval. We pray for angelic manoeuvres. We pray for angelic oppression. We pray that the atmosphere will accommodate him in the name of Jesus. Allah ta tala la la bahaya, atelo le le bo bo. In the name of Jesus. Preserve him. Last week I was listening. I was listening to Papa. He was on a panel with some powerful men of God. We were talking about ministry and a whole lot of powerful things. And the host asked him a very powerful question. He said, "Man of God, how do you stay relevant in 2022?" And Papa made a statement that blew me out of the water. He said that in 2022, what will make you stay relevant is to have an encounter with God. You didn't hear what I said. I said it's to have an encounter with God. You know something? If you have an encounter with God, when you hear people talking about why do you go to church and why do you give your time, you just laugh. Because you had an encounter with God. Paul said that I may know him and the suffering of his shame. He said, be made conformable unto his death. The Bible said, and Jacob came to a place and he wrestled with the God man. And after God began to change his work, God began to change his work. If you have an encounter with me, there are a lot of things about you to change. Tonight we are praying that as the man of God leads us, 
who will have a personal revelation and an encounter with God Jesus. that will change our life. Yes, Can Lord. somebody lift up your voice? Cry out for an encounter tonight. Cry out for an encounter tonight. A personal revelation of who God is. A personal revelation of who God is. Can I hear somebody pray that you will not live here the same? As you are living here, you are living with an encounter. You are living with something that will change your life. Something that will bring visible signs to your life. Can somebody pray? Can somebody call upon God? An encounter of God tonight. An encounter of God tonight. Let the eyes of somebody be open. Let the ears of somebody be open. May somebody receive a word that will shift his focus. May somebody receive a word that will turn his situation around. May somebody receive a word that will bring light in the name of Jesus. Oh, just one passion, oh, one purpose to know you more and more when I know you, when I know you. Just one passion says, Just one passion, one pepper, one pepper, to know you, to know you, more and more. Let me know you, let me know you more and more. When I know you, I know you more and Can you please give me Isaiah chapter 48, verse 17? Isaiah chapter 48, verse 17. Last year, a year today, the last prayer we prayed on was on Isaiah chapter 48, verse 17. It says, Thou says the Lord thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord thy God which teacheth thee to profit, which leadeth thee by the way thou shouldest go. It is a God that makes us profit. In this year, we have had negatives and positives. But at the end of the year, our, 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 our this thing is a positive. We have profited. You were sick, you were down on your bed, but you are up again. You have overcome that sickness. You have lost money, yeah. but today you have enough in your yeah. account. We just want to thank God that God this year, hey. you have made me profit thank in all my life. Lift up your voice and thank God. Thank, thank you, God that is a thank God that makes you to profit. Jesus. In your family, he has made you to profit. In your finances, in your health. In the things that concerns you, he has made you to progress. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you that in 2021, I have made profit. I have made profit for you being alive today, for life in your life today. It is profit. It is profit. People have died, but you are alive. The fact that you are alive is that there is hope, and your tomorrow shall be better than yesterday. Say, God, I thank you. I thank you that in 2021, you have made me profit. In 2021, you have made me profit. In 
2021, you have made me profit. Thank God, thank God. Don't get tired, don't get tired. You have been down, but you are up. There have been a lot of things that have weighed you down, but you are up. Tonight you are alive. Thank God. I'll be his worship. Put your hands and say, hey, all of the good of my life, and I'll be, and I'll be. In 2022, you'll be here worshiping God. In 2022, you'll be here again worshiping God. In 2022, you'll be here again lifting up your hands up to God. In 2022, you'll be here counting your blessings. To 2022. We are going to make some declarations about 2022. The Bible says, Wheresoever the sole of your feet shall tread, it shall be yours. By prayer, we are going to walk through 2022. We shall possess and dominate 2022. Tell somebody, 2022 is mine. 2022 is mine. It's my year of fruitfulness. It's my year of increase. It's my year to subdue. It's my year to dominate. 2022 is my year. I shall be above only and not believe. In the name of Jesus, give a clap offering unto God wherever you are. Clapping is a form of prayer. Give a clap offering unto God wherever you are. Give a clap offering unto God wherever you are. Clapping is a form of prayer. Give a clap offering unto God. Hallelujah. In 2022, there will be battles. There will be battles. But the Bible says the battle is the Lord's. The promise of God. But today we are praying that God in 2022, I cannot fight those battles. 
Go ahead and fight them for me. for me. Fight for me, Fight for me. Fight for me. There are some battles you are not aware of. People are fighting you from wrong places. But you are saying, God, wherever my name is mentioned, wherever a battle is lifted up against my life, against my family, against my destiny, against living strength, may you rise up and fight for us. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. The battle is the Lord. In 2022, may God fight for you. There will be battles. There will be battles. Battles against your health. Battles against your finances. Battles against your family. Battles against your academic life. Battles against the things that you love most. But may Jehovah fight for you. Battles are part of our life's journey. When Paul, at the end of his life, he said, I have fought a good fight. May you fight good fights. May Let God fight for you. Jesus. May you not fight fights that will take away your strength. In the name yes, of May you not fight fights that will take away your energy. In the name that of Jesus. will take away your joy. In the yes, name fights of Jesus. that at the end you are broken hey, and out. Are you are saying, God, fight my battles for fight me. My battles fight for my battles for me. In 2022, hey. every battle every that comes my way comes against out. my health, against, against, my against my finances, against my, against my family, against, my family. against, against anything that concerns me. Oh God, tonight May you, rise up, May you rise up and fight up. for me. Fight Lift up your voice once more and begin to fight. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. The second thing you are going to pray is that I said that God deliver my feet from evil. In 2022, may God deliver your feet from evil. In the name of Jesus. Sometimes we just walk and walk into trouble. But may God deliver your feet. Wherever there is a trap from you, may you escape. Tell somebody I escape. I escape. I escape every trap of the enemy against my life. In 2022, I escape. I escape. I escape. I escape. The Bible says my soul shall escape like the bed out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken. Tonight, may every snare, every trap against your life. May you escape. Lift up prayer. Say, God, I escape. I escape every trap. Every trap is against my life. Every trap is against living streets. Every trap is against my family. Every trap is against my business. Every trap is against my health. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands and say it. In 2022, I can't hear your voice. 
In 2022, in 2022, no enchantment, no enchantment, no divination, no divination, no sorcery, no sorcery, no witchcraft, no witchcraft, no power, no power of hell, of hell shall locate me, shall locate me, no wickedness, no wickedness shall locate me, shall locate me, no plan, no plan, by the enemy, by the enemy, in the womb of the enemy, shall locate me, shall locate me, only good things, only good, things, only good people, only good people shall locate me, shall locate me. As I lift up prayer, I am invincible because I am hidden in God. I am hidden in Christ and God. Because I am hidden in Christ and God. So they shall not locate me. Evil shall not locate me. Witches shall not locate me. Divination shall not locate me. Whenever they mention my name in their pots, I shall not appear. I am safe. I am protected. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. your family shall not be a limitation in the name of Jesus whatever limitation is in your family you rise above it in you the break name through. of Jesus may the heavens be broken in the name of may Jesus. you be above only in the name of and Jesus. not beneath in the name of no Jesus. divination no witchcraft in your no family in shall family. locate you shall locate because God will protect you in the name of in Jesus, name of Jesus. Ah, baza Come on, can I have a witness in here? Oh, my topic you are praying that God lead me in 2022. The Bible says the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. In 2022, may God order your steps. May God order your steps. May God order your steps. May God lead you in the same way in Isaiah chapter 48 verse 17. Please give me 
Please give me the scripture again. Isaiah chapter 47, uh, chapter 48, verse 17. Quickly, quickly. It said he will teach us where we should go. In 2022, may God teach. He said, it said, which leadeth thee by the way thou shouldest go. In 2022, may God lead us in the way we should go. May he lead us. May he lead us. The steps of the righteous are ordered by God. May God lead you. May God lead you. Say, God, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Tonight, I surrender unto your leading. In 2022, may you lead me. May you lead me in the way I should go. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice in twenty twenty two. May God lead you. May your steps be ordered. May your steps be ordered. May your Stand the order into establishment, into places of establishment. Jesus, lift up, lift up your hands. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, tonight, tonight. This service, this service is my service. Is my service. You are here, you are to, here. Instruct to instruct me, to, direct me, to, direct me, to lead me, to lead me into 2022. 2022. Oh, God, oh God, may you open my eyes. May you open my, may you open my ears. May you, open my ears. May you break every heart in heart. May your word be written upon the tablets of my heart. May you grant me a rima word tonight that I may not live here the same. Oh, may I never live here may I never live the, here. Same the same way I enter tonight. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Tonight you will not live here the same way you can live. Tonight you will not live here the same way you enter. Naza bayiniota zaha. Le palo la prenda la wapata ya no. Le palo la prenda ya auto zaha ta. Me kadonga la prenda ta. Le badia to saka. Jesus. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. For tonight. For tonight. 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 Your word. Your word. Is coming. Is coming. To me. To me. Through your choice servant. Through your choice servant. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. May you anoint him. May you anoint him. With oil. With oil. May every word. May every word. Bring revelation. Bring revelation. Unto my life. Unto my life. May he give me a word. May he give me a that word. That will take me through. That will take me 2022. through. 2022. 2022. I lift up your servant. I lift up your Let servant. Let the oil. May his words break every chain. Set the captives free. May his words open doors unto us. May every prophetic word be established in my life. Lift up your voice and thank God for tonight. Lift up prayer, 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 lift up prayer. We are tapping upon the apostolic anointing tonight. We are tapping upon the apostolic anointing and upon the life of the servant of God. The apostolic anointing that breaks the ground. May you pray to me 2022 for us. May you 2022. May that apostolic Lift up your voice Jesus. and bless the name of the Lord. Somebody just lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Oh, come on. Worship is not a song. Worship is not a song. Song 
writer said, I'll count my blessings and name them one by one. He said, count your blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done.
appreciate to what God has done for you. Come on. Made sadabaka, laduba dasi adabanda badaka. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess his lordship. His name is a strong tower. Oh, 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 somebody, somebody, lift his name. Oh, lift his name. Lift his name. What name fits you? Ha! And he said, yeah. Can I get a witness in the house? Then I asked the Lord. Ha! What name fits you? What did he say? And he said, yeah. Can we take it from the top? Generations. Let's go. Generations. Ha! Our generation keep praising you, keep praising you. Yet no one sums you up. It is difficult to sum the Lord up. Oh, and he said, take it again, generations after generations. Oh, generations. Come on, let's sing together. Let's worship the Lord together. Keep you. Oh, come on. Then I ask the Lord. Then I ask the Lord. What name? What name is And he said. And he said, the hallowed one. Sing like you mean it. Yah, the hallowed one. Come on.
Clap your hands, all ye people, and shout to God with a voice of triumph. There are people elsewhere who are looking for an opportunity to express themselves the way we are doing. They can't have it. I don't even want to mention the hospital or people who are sick or they are in bed or something. There are other people who have been bound by chains. And they find it very difficult to express themselves. They are bottled up. But do you have the privilege to express yourself? Do you have the privilege? Tell somebody I'm in the house to express myself. <laughs> Can we take some praise time? Okay, let's go. Let's go.
Hello. Don't play tricks with me. Over there, please. Today is not that normal day. The victory that we don't deserve, God has given it to us. We have cause to give him praise. Yeah. The things that our eyes have seen are not to be compared with the things that our eyes cannot see that God has taken us through. Deliverances on all sides. Healings on all sides. Oh, somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Come on, celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Come on, you can celebrate the Lord like this. Hallelujah! Give the Lord a shout! Glory! Put your hands for me if you are grateful to Jesus. Wave it unto Jesus. Hallelujah! Father, we honor you, Lord. You existed before the world began. And you've got time set to see. In your hands, you rule the rain, majestic is your name. Yeah, Yahweh, my Yahweh. Yeah. You existed before the world began. You've got times and seasons. Shadow of day. Now, and you will love the rain, 
gentlemen, put your hands together. Well, let's welcome Mahalia Bukana from South Africa to join Monarch's Grace. Oh, come on, put your hands together. Let's welcome her. Let's welcome her. Worship with you in a South African way. I hope you're ready for that. <laughs> Bless the name of Jesus. Let's go. Tanda, 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 
What a night, what a night, what a night, what a night, what a night. Clap your hands, all you people, and shout. What a night. Oh, hallelujah. Please be seated.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't look like people who are waiting or who are ready for 2022. Hallelujah. Come on, lift it up, lift it up. We know the difficulties that came with 2021. But we are sure of the glory of God in 2022. Come on, tap your feet on the floor and say, hey, 2022. We are just waiting for you. Hallelujah. And jump from your chair and say, we are moving, we are moving. So we are moving, we are moving, we are moving, we are moving. Hallelujah. Please be seated. My goodness. Hallelujah. This is your home. And um, 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 uh, anyway, we got plans for you. <laughs> what a blessing. What a presence. What a blessing. What a presence. My goodness. It's a privilege for us also to have you because uh, when she arrived in Ghana, she was on hot demand. And I know many pastors and bishops and cardinals and popes and archangels would have loved to have her in their churches. <laughs> but boy, are we blessed at Life Cathedral. I'm blessed at Life Cathedral. You need to understand that not all musicians know how to change the atmosphere. And not all musicians know how to create an atmosphere. Oh my goodness, this is a powerhouse. She knows how to shift atmospheres. Come on, let's just stand and just give it up to her. No, sit down. You sit down. One of the things that people need to understand, please be seated. God is not afraid to praise men. I know that everyone here, we have been taught that we praise God. That is true. But it was God who showed the way of praise. At the beginning of creation, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, that when God created everything and he had created man, the Bible said he blessed them. He blessed man and woman. And that word blessed there, the Hebrew word that was used was barak. And barak means, number one, to congratulate. And number two, to salute. And number three, to praise. That means to speak well. So God showed man the path of praise. And he said, okay, listen, I congratulate you. Even though you've done nothing, I congratulate you. Because I know the potential that you have. Number two, he said, I salute you. And number three, I speak well of you. And so God is not afraid to speak well of humanity. In actual of fact, when Jesus walked here on this earth, and he met a man called John the Baptist. He began to speak well of him and said, What went he out into the wilderness to find? A reed shaken by the wind. Nay, what went he out to find? A prophet? Yea, more than a prophet. A, a, a man clothed in suffering men. They that are clothed in suffering men are in king's palaces. But what went he out for to see? A man, he said, a prophet. And he said, Yea, more than a prophet. Amongst men born of women, none is greater than John the Baptist. Nevertheless, he that is least in the kingdom of, of heaven, of God, is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. So God, Jesus, God on earth, began to speak well of John the Baptist. So when I ask you to clap for someone, and I ask you to speak well of somebody, we are not doing anything that is contrary to what God uh, God, what God wants. Sometimes we need to speak well of somebody. To so turn to somebody and say, you better speak well of me right now. And say, I know the things you say behind me, so you better speak well of me right now. It is important for you. Look like God. Begin to look like God. Tell them, begin to look like God. And begin to speak well of me right now. So ladies and gentlemen, with a clap of and standing ovation, let's give it to Mahalia. Come on. 
I can't hear your shout. I can't hear your noise. This is not living streams. Come on. Lift it up. Hallelujah. Please be seated. And she came here with a, a very powerful and lovely husband. And uh, that is Win. And you know, a couple of years ago, or, I mean, when Sean was in London and Sean came from London, he kept talking about a man that he met in our um, brother uh, Danny Wetherland's house. And every time he kept mentioning his name, he said, Daddy, you got to meet him. Daddy, you got to meet him. And I was like, who is this man who has um, put a concussion into my son's food and my son is not talking about me and he keeps talking about him? <laughs> Yeah, and uh, he just kept talking about him and uh, he said, Daddy, you got to meet him. Daddy, you got to meet him. And Brother Danny Well did learn too. Some time ago also saw me and said, Ah, Papa, you got to meet this man. Papa, you got to meet this man. And now here he is. I thought that I was going to see somebody greater than Goliath. Somebody bigger than Goliath. And when I met him, he was so quiet and the way he was, I said, Oh, Man, but when I heard the voice of this wife and I said, oh, now I know. I know who controls the engine room. I know who has the anointing. I know who has the power. So ladies and gentlemen, let's celebrate the husband win. Come on. They say behind every successful man is a woman that is true. But sometimes we also need to take the praise. Hallelujah. We are also important. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, when she was climbing up, you see the way he walked up and helped her up. It's all part of that transmittance of anointing, you know. Hallelujah, folks. <laughs> Come on. We celebrate you. Listen, make this place your home. And, and I'm sure that with Monarch's praise, David thinking of a recording and all that, you know, you guys, you know, Oh, okay, 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 okay. But no, no, no. okay, <laughs> right. Hallelujah. Come on. 2022 is our year of establishment. I said 2022 is our year of establishment. You need to understand how God deals with us. God moves, you know, God moves us. First of all, he moves us with a picture and that picture has a promise. And that promise or that picture can be prophetic. And God gives us a picture of what he wants to do. Then he walks us through a pathway. And that pathway sometimes is filled with pain. But then God brings us. Uh, but even though that pathway is filled with pain, it is temporary. But then God brings us to another place. And where he sets us up. And then he establishes us. So God moves from a temporary, that is from the tent to the temple from the wilderness to the promised land and i tell i came to announce to somebody you need to be uh, to be excited that god has brought you to a place to set you and to establish you your business shall be established your marriage shall be established your children shall be established your prosperity shall be established your wealth shall be established and i came to announce to somebody in the name of jesus this is our year of establishment divine establishment and god is bringing us to establish us on the east establish us on the west establish us in the north and establish us in the south come from your church say, divine establishment here i come Please be seated and just lift up your hands. Lift up your hands and let's just worship. Jesus. Come on. Open your mouth and just begin to worship the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, O God. Jesus. We thank you, O God. Come on. God, you are establishing us. We bless you for today. We thank you for the years ahead of us. In the name of Jesus, I am the Lord. 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 I am the Lord.
closes the window, he opens the door. So there's no doubt in my mind that God is opening a new door before someone here. And tonight I want to take you, before we enter the year, I want to take you through a particular journey. I want to take you and show you the road to divine establishment. Say yes, Okasa Hadzi Nara Say yes, Hadzi. In the book of Genesis chapter 41 Like I said, God moves us from the temporary To the permanent He moves from the tent To the temple And he moves from the wilderness to the promised land. I said God moves from the temporary 
to the permanent. And I am saying, God moves us from the wilderness, which is a circular motion, which is going round and round and round, same trouble, same issues, and he moves us to the promised land. He moves us to permanence. In the name of Jesus, hey, we have come to divine establishment. I said, we have come to divine establishment. Whether they like it or not, whether they accept it or not, whether they agree or not, whether they want it or not, because it is written, and it is written, it can never be changed. And because God has said it, it shall come to pass. He moves us from the temporary into the permanent. Don't from your church, sir. There's a shifting. There's a shifting. In the book of Genesis chapter 41 In the book of Genesis chapter 41 verse 14 That's verse 14 And if time permits then we'll go to 41 to 43 but 14 just 14 Then Pharaoh let's all read it together so that we will be spiritual all of us will be spiritual tonight is that okay? <laughs> and let's all read it together. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph. Now maybe somebody should change the name over there. From Joseph to, and put your name there. Then Pharaoh <laughs> and called. I asked somebody, what's your name? And uh, tell the person, don't mention your name. Mention my name. My name is the important name now, tonight. And so now let's all go together. Tell the person your name. And t t tell the person, say my name. Now if the person is not talking, then the person is either deaf and dumb. Tell the person, say my name. I want you to uh, call my name again. Call my name. So now let's all go. Then Pharaoh sent and called Ebenezer Marquis and the uh, brought him hastily out of the dungeon and he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came in unto Pharaoh. Now, let, 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 let's, uh, let's go to 41 and 43. Uh, 41 and 43. 41 to 43. It looks like 15 there. Right. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee. Oh, oh. Did you say Joseph? Did you say Joseph? Did you tell the person? Did you say Joseph again? If you don't mention your name, it will escape you. And Pharaoh said unto Ebenezer Marque, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. And, and and Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had. And they cried before him, bow the knee, and he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. Somebody's garment is changing. Somebody's gold is changing. Somebody's dress is changing. Somebody's Somebody is changing in the name of Jesus. Somebody is moving from the temporary into the permanent. And whether they like it or not, and whether they agree or not, and whether they accept it or not, there is a shift. Somebody is coming into divine establishment. Say yes. Let the church say amen. Let the church say Am I talking to people? God has spoken. Okay. So let the church say. Let the church say. Let the church say. God has spoken. Let the church say. Now, if you look at the life of Joseph very carefully, you will see certain interesting aspects of his life. 
he begins in his father's house. And his father's house is in Hebron. And his father's house brings him warfare. He has brothers who don't like him. It's okay. Not everybody is going to like you. Hallelujah. And sometimes you need people who don't like you. Because their very presence in your life will be to push you towards the place where God wants you to go. You understand? Their hatred for you, their envy of you, their jealousy of you is going to be the wind beneath your wings. That pushes you into your destiny. It was the hatred of the brothers of Joseph that took him to Egypt. And it was in Egypt that Pharaoh set him up. So I came to announce to you all the warfare that you have and all the enmity that you have and all the arrows they threw at you is pushing you towards a place Amen. to be what? Set! Amen! Now if you look at Joseph's life, Joseph's life is a life of trouble. You see a, a young boy who, I mean, falls into the wrong company. I mean, they beat him up. They do all sorts of things. But guess what? At the appointed time, at the appointed time, at the appointed time, you need to understand that there is a time allocated by God with your name on it. There is a season of God with your name on it. You know, sometimes we look at our chronos and say, oh God, but that's a chronometer. It just shows you what, the, what you're saying. But there is a set time. And the Bible says in his time, he makes all things beautiful. 2022 is his time. 2022 is his time. 2022 is his time. Amen. Now the Bible said, listen, and when, you know, when Joseph was there, he didn't even know that it was his time. And that's the problem. Who told you that you have to know? Who told you that God has to tell you that it is your time? Who told you that God needs your agreement before he declares that it is your time? So I came to tell you that there is a divine plan that overrules your pain. Jesus. There is a divine purpose that overrules your prison. Ah. There is a divine plan that overrules your, your hey. predicament. And in the name of Jesus, Jesus, whether you know it or not, ah. or whether you accept it or not, I declare 2022 our set time. Amen. Jesus. Now I like this. Here is Joseph in the prison. And in the prison, he didn't even have a clue what was about to happen. Just like some people sitting here don't have a clue. Am I talking to somebody? Just like you don't have a clue. And you see, if you have a clue, well, if you don't have a clue, it doesn't matter. Whether you know it or you don't know it, you know, Whoever told you that our Christian work is always something that God has to talk to you about. There is always a surprise factor when you are dealing with God. And if you are moving with God and you don't include factor surprise, the X factor in your dealing with God, that is a factor of surprise, then you've missed it. And I came to tell somebody that 2022 is going to be a year of surprises. Amen. Oh, they don't like it. Young girl, you are just walking over there. Then some young man is going to just pass by you, look at you and say, hey, baby. <laughs> and all of a sudden, your, 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 your business contract that I've been chasing look, doesn't look like it's going to happen. All of a sudden, somebody is going to call you. Just like Pharaoh sent for him. In the name of Jesus, name of your Jesus. name has come up. Amen. Your name has come up. Ah. Just like Joseph's hey. name came up. Your hey. name has come up. Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus, name of there's Jesus. a sign from the heavenlies. Amen. And there's a book that has been opened. Jesus. And there's a name that has been pinpointed. Ah. And somebody's name has hey. come up. The Bible said, and Pharaoh sent for Joseph Amen. in the name of Jesus. Name you're of going to Jesus. receive a phone call. Amen. In the name of Jesus, name you're going to receive a letter. Amen. In the name of Jesus, name you're, of you're of going to have an encounter. Go from your chest said, I received that. I received that. I need to do this quickly. You know, when the Bible said he sent for Joseph, you will not understand until you understand the Hebrew word that was used. Here is Joseph in the prison. 
Here's Joseph in pain. Here's Joseph in, in difficulty. And the Hebrew word that was used was shalak. That means God reached forth. So as you sit, wherever you are, whatever the challenge is, whatever the issue is, a hand from above is reaching out. It's reaching out. It's reaching out. Am I talking to somebody? It's reaching out in the name of Jesus. Hey, it, it reaching out into your prison, into your pain, into your problem, into your issue, into your challenge. Into, there's a reach out and it is not by the hand of man. It is by the hand of God in the name of Jesus. I see angels on assignment. I see angels on assignment. Written out for somebody. And your name is coming up. And your name is coming up. Isaiah, your honey. Oh, say. He comes in. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. And Jesus, oh, I went in the church. Papa said he reached forth, and then the word was there. He reached forth and called Joseph. Now, you think that he just reached out to call a name? No. The Hebrew word that was used was Kara. He reached out and arrested. I said he reached out and arrested. Do you understand? Yeah. Now you know that people can be arrested onto, onto bad things. People can be arrested to prison. But sometimes when God decides to do hey. something, God would arrest you hey. to business. God would arrest you to Jesus. increase. God would arrest you to prosperity. Ah. God would arrest you to grace. Amen. God would arrest you to, in the name of Jesus, the name there's of a Jesus. man called Saul. And he was riding a horse. And he was arrested into grace. There's a man called Fisher. Peter, who was a fisherman and a failed one, but he was arrested into abundance. Ah. There's a boy called David, who was in the backside of the desert, and he was arrested and became a king. Hey. So in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I said in the name of Jesus, you tell somebody, ah. you are under arrest. 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 To the goodness of God, goodness you are of under God. arrest. Are under to the blessing of God, blessing you are under God. arrest. Are under to the grace of God, in the name of Jesus. If the person doesn't agree, tell the person, I'm under arrest. I'm under arrest. You won't know me, Edja. You won't know me. You won't know me. So sometimes when God wants to bring you into establishment, number one, he will reach out. And number two, he will arrest. Now he will reach out and he will arrest. Am I talking to somebody? Before we launch into our worship and walk into 2022, I said, he will, he's reaching out. He's reaching out and he's calling somebody's name. Ah. Well, I don't hear anybody's name. Hey. I hear my name. I hear my name. And I don't care. Hey. I'm the only person in the room hey. right now. So uh, if you can't mention your name, I mention my name. It's okay. Baba said he reached forth and then he arrested. And then the Bible said, and they brought him hastily. They brought him hastily. You know, sometimes a day to God is like a thousand years to man. And sometimes there are things that God does that looks as if there is delay. But there's another side of the coin. When your set time has come, when your time for establishment has come, hey. everything begins to be fast. It begins to be fast. I said everything begins hey. to be fast. What the Bible said, hey. that word that was used, uh, and they rushed. Ah. And they rushed. May angels rush to your cause. May men rush to bless you. May people rush to open a door. May people rush to open a door. May people rush to bless you. May, may wealth rush into your hands. May prosperity rush into your hands. I believe in the name of Jesus that 2022 is going to be so fast. 
because of the quick work because of the quick work I said because of the quick work what you thought you couldn't go all of a sudden ham, you are there what you thought you couldn't get all of a sudden ham, you get what you thought you couldn't climb all of a sudden up you are there in the name of Jesus I declare there is a rush for your blessing Jesus and they rushed to get him may wealth rush into your bosom amen May blessing rush into your bosom. In the name of Jesus. May things rush into your bosom. In the name of Jesus. May the things that look so far away, you don't understand. Ah. Joseph never thought hey. that he was going to get out of prison because his friends forgot him. His family forsook him. But in the name of Jesus, name of I Jesus. came to understand hey. and I've come to tell you that when your time for establishment arrives, there is a rush. So listen, from 1st of January, that is from tomorrow morning. Don't switch off your phone. Hey. Keep your phone open. Jesus. Because there's going to be a rush. Hey. Don't close your bank account. Hey. Keep it open. Ah. Because something is about to happen. In the name of Jesus, name of I Jesus. declare a rush. Let it be your God. Let it be your God. Let it be your God. There are things that God does. Number one, He reaches out. He reaches out. Number two, He arrests. He arrests. And number three, He does it speedily. He does it speedily. He reaches he out, he arrests, he does and he does it speedily. Amen. Amen. Now there's something you have to do. There's something you have to do. You see, God will not raise your dead if you don't roll the stone. God will never give you a great drought of fish if you don't let down your nets. God, you will never see the miracle of healing if you don't rise up and take up your bed like the man at the pool of Bethesda. You can't have Jesus intervening if like band member Timos, you don't call out to him. So there is a divine move and I see it coming. Amen. Folks, Amen. I believe with all my heart. Amen. I believe with all my heart. In the heart. name of Jesus. That today you are in prison of pain, you are in prison of poverty, you are in prison. And the next day, I know it can, it can happen. I know it can happen. Hallelujah. I am convinced that there can be a warfare and all of a sudden, and I can be in stretches and I can be in pain, I can be in dark straits, but tomorrow, all of a sudden, of hey, a the sudden. son of righteousness ah, has risen with healing ah. in his wings and it is my turn to laugh, it is my turn to smile, Jesus. it is my turn to jump, it is my time to shout, hey. it is my time to sit hey. on the throne. In the name of Jesus, name you are being sad. Now there's something that you need to do. And the Bible said, immediately Joseph saw, he heard these things. And he saw these things. This is what he began to do. He shaved himself. Tell somebody, you need a shave. Looking at you exactly, you need a shave. Seriously. I, I, and by the way, I'm only talking about the shaving of the beard. Nothing else. So tell somebody you need a shave. Why Sean and David? <laughs> you need a shave. <laughs> I like that. In fact, it's in the Bible. I'll be quoting it at home a lot. Because all those young boys, you know, I had plans for them. That one of these days, in the middle of the night, I'm going to bring a lawnmower into my house. And what I'll do is I'll just spray chloroform in the room. And as they sleep and snore, the lawnmower is going to go to work. And when they wake up, when they ask what happened, I said, the Lord just came. An angel, there came an angel of the Lord. 
and shave them. That's how you need a shave. Bible said Joseph shaved himself. Now you need to understand, in the Hebrew custom, Hebrew men don't shave their beards. Because beard stands for maturity. When you see a young boy who is working with a beard, it means he has come to the age of maturity. That means he's armed and dangerous. And so if you're a young lady and his shadow passes over you, he can give you a certificate of performance. So, Hebrew boys don't, Hebrew men don't shave. It is boys who are clean shaven, but Hebrew men don't shave. And so, if you even read, I, I, I think in 1 Samuel, um, somewhere in, is it 1 Samuel or 2 Samuel? Yeah. In 2 Samuel chapter 10, verse 4 and 5, in fact, 2 Samuel chapter 10, verse 4 and 5, we'll be coming to prayer right now, don't you worry. In 2 Samuel chapter 10, verse 4 and 5, you see something over there. Hebrew men don't shave. It is considered shame to, to be clean shaven. So let's read it and see. And it came to pass after this that the king of the children of Ammon died 2 Samuel chapter 10 verse 4 and 5 verse 4 Wherefore Hanum took David's servant and shaved off the one half of their beards and cut off their garments in the middle even to their buttocks. I didn't say the Bible said why are you saying hey I like that. <laughs> See, the Bible is it doesn't it doesn't mean swear, so I think I'll repeat that place again. <laughs> Wherefore Hanum took David's servant and shaved off the one half of their beards. Yeah, it is your religious demon that is what you see doing. I know that. Today I'm getting rid of that religious demon. Wherefore Hanum took David's servant and shaved off the one half of their beards and cut off their garments in the middle, even to their buttocks, and sent them away. When they told it unto David, he sent to meet them because the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, tarry at Jericho until your beards be grown and then return. Now David said, stay at, stay at Jericho until your beards, until your beards be grown. He didn't say stay at Bethel until your garments, new garments are put on you. So he was saying, stay until your beards grow. Because it was men who went out. And if they return without their beards, their wife would say, where is my husband? Because I sent out a man and you are coming a boy. You see, I like Archbishop Duncan William. Ah, you see, they are men of God and they are boys of God. <laughs> so he said, stay until your beards grow. That means the point of their shame was not their back butts, but it was their beards that were shaved. So it wasn't their butts, it was their beards. That was the primary area of shame. And he says, stay until it grows. If it was their backside, he would say, when you get new clothes, just come in. But he says, stay out of the camp until your beards grow. So you see, beard is for maturity. And when somebody, you see somebody without a beard in those days, he's considered a little boy and he's considered a young boy. And now, guess what happens? The Bible said, when Joseph recognized that something was about to happen, he shaved his beard. Can I tell you something? When you are dealing with God, you can't be a big man. You always have to be a small boy. When you are dealing with God, you can't be a big man. You have to be a small boy. When you are dealing with God, you can't be on top there. You see, that was why when Moses came to the, he threw down the rod and he said, pick the rod, pick the serpent by the tail and not the head. Men were authorized to deal with the serpent by this head. God said, you will bruise the head of the serpent and it will bruise your heel. It will bruise your heel. But for Moses, he said, take the serpent by the tail. What is God saying? Let me be the head and you be the tail. The problem with people is they like to be the head with the head of God. So I came to announce that in this period of divine establishment, what you need to do, you need to come to a place of submission.
and say, if you think you know, tell God, I don't know. If you think you have, say to God, I don't have. Even if you think you have a $30 million account, say to God, there's nothing there. In the name of Jesus, when you lower yourself, you are ready to be raised up. So God says, shave yourself. Now, number two, the Bible says he took off his garment. I think two or three times, Joseph's garment was taken off him. The first time was by his brothers. The second time was by Potiphar's wife. That is, the first time was by his brothers. The second time was by Potiphar's wife. The first time, his garments were removed by jealousy and envy and hatred. But the second time, his clothes was removed by, by accusation. And then, when jo Joseph came, when it was time, he said, I'm removing my clothes myself. Do you know why? When the Bible talks about um, clothes, it talks about attitude. The Bible says that when the, in, in the book of Mark, I think, in the book of Mark, wow, okay, we are coming there. In the book of Mark, look at what God said. Mark chapter 5, verse 15. That is attitude. And they came and found the gathering demoniac. And when they came, they saw the man in whom, and when they told it, and they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. And sometimes when the Bible talks about clothes, I said, be clothed with holiness. Be clothed with humility. So it is an attitude. So you know what God was saying? Joseph said, I've had an attitude of complaint. But now God is about to do something. I'm going to wear a vesture of praise. So here I'm, I'm beginning to tell people, some, some of us need to change our attitudes. You need to change your attitude towards God. You need to change your attitude towards what God is about to do. And the Bible said, he himself removed it. In the name of Jesus, may you have the maturity and the power and the anointing to change your garment Amen. and to change some attitude you have and begin to step Jesus. out into the new. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then look at what God said. What, look at what Pharaoh said and I'll end on this place. And then we'll rise up and begin to pray and we'll move with worship. He said, see 41 41 41, 41 to 43. He said, See. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over the land. What you cannot see, you cannot possess. What you cannot see, you cannot possess. What you cannot see. And God, God tells you to see. He said, Use your eyes. And he's saying something. Use your imagination. That means move from where you are. He said, see, that is rise up above where you are and look into something else and look into the future. See, all the men of Israel and all the men who made great waves for God in Hebrews chapter 11, you see, they looked for a city. They saw something even before their time, before it happened. Look, Lot, um, what is his name? Noah looked for a city whose builder and founder was God. He saw Abraham. He saw David. He saw before God. Goliath came down. He saw. You understand what I am saying? Joshua, he saw. Moses, he said, God is taking us to a land flowing with milk and honey. He saw. In the name of Jesus, if you can't see, so what do you need to see? See yourself established. He says, see, I have set thee. Your establishment comes by what you see. Am I making sense? Am I making sense? So now, what is before you? Rise up now. Rise up now. Come on. Some of you need to tear off something. You need to tear off something. You need to tear off the garment of failure. You need to tear it off. You need to tear off the garment of anxiety. You need to tear it off. You need to tear the garment of 2021. The garment of fear, you need to tear it off. Some of us need to tear it off. So we're going to lift up prayer right now. And lift up your eyes and see. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord right now. Jesus, we thank you, O Lord. 
We bless you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I am Change your perception. for you to arrest you and he wants you to see and he wants you to change the coming So in six minutes, we're just going, for us in this house, we walk into the year with worship. We walk into the year with worship. Lift up your hands as we worship. Come on. Mm-hmm. 
meeting. If I live here on this earth, it is by your grace. Can I get a witness? As we worship in the 2022, as we worship in the 2022, come on, let's worship in the 2022. Four minutes more. It is by his grace. Something is happening. 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 Something is happ
establishment God is setting you up it's your your divine establishment God is reaching out it's your your divine establishment God is arresting you it's your your divine establishment God is setting you up happy new year hey you got your dancing shoes you got your dancing shoes Got your dance issues? That is someone tell Happy New Year, Happy New Year. It's your year of divine establishment. It's your year of divine establishment. Am I talking to somebody? Holy Ghost is reaching out for you. Angels are on assignment. Hey, Hallelujah. Okay, come on, give a lot of clap and give a lot of shout. Happy New Year. We're going to praise God like we do. We celebrate. Hallelujah. So, boss. Hit it. Let's go. Now, this, this is your New Year dance announcing your presence before God. And telling God, I am still alive. I am still here. So what 
are going to do now is that we are going to take the offering and then after that we'll just do a few things before God. So sow a seed. This is your first offering in 2022. You want to take an offering, something that will cost you and tell God this is my sacrifice to you. Are you ready? Shabu boy, boy, Shabu boy, boy. Give the Lord a shout. Hey, 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 my God is good. Oh, help me, sir. My God is good, oh, everybody. My God is good, oh, everybody. My God is good, oh, everybody. Everything I'm double double, everybody. Everything I'm double double, oh. Hey, my God is good, oh. Everybody, everybody. Hey, my God is good, oh. How is it? Double double, sing double double, double double, double double, double double, double double, double double. Oh, <laughs> 
see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my soul. And you get help me, my Lord. Because of Jesus. Follow people, they have balanced themselves properly with some banku. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, our year of divine establishment. Amen. Our devotionals are out. The devotionals are out from beginning this morning. All the way to 31st December. And they're already out. <laughs> right, okay. Our devotionals are out. And uh, throughout the year, we've been prayerfully going through the year, walking through 1st of January all the way to 31st of December this year. And every day we have sought the face of God, asking God for a specific word for you. The Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds. This is a proceeding word of God for somebody here. People are testifying of our devotionals and how it speaks to them in their everyday life. I want to say this, that those who know us know that we don't just speak, but we speak the Rima word of God. Every word we speak is prayerfully considered, and every word we speak is biblically investigated. 2022, we want you to enjoy your estab establishment. I want to give you principles that brings you into establishment. And so we have this live devotional for you. We are giving it to you at cost. That means we don't make any profit on it. And for every book that you see, the cost is 25 Ghana cities. 25 Ghana cities. What a, what a present or what a gift to give to somebody by giving that person the word of God. So we have here a 25 city live devotional that covers every day. And all you need to do is just flip a page. A powerful pages. Very, very powerful uh, pages in it. I can go through some of them for you. Batons of vision. Helpers of vision. What praise? God, how, give you, how deep is your giving? The trying our hand to ask or not to ask. 100 minus 1. It's very criminal to offend them. Egg on my face. What is the difference? Just this small move. Going on, going forward. Three dangers in the new world today. Putting fire to flesh. Blowing empty hair. Eh, sorry. 
no exceptions, everyone is affected. If you want a copy, just lift up your hand and buy one and buy one for a friend. Somebody can buy one for about five people. Um, buy one for five people, buy one for 10 people, just 250 Ghana cities. Please raise your hand. There are people upstairs over there. Some people are expecting to be given to them as a gift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wayne, come get one. You have one already. You know, go give one to somebody. And, right. And I, I'll sign it for you. Yeah. So, get one for somebody. Hallelujah. Let me look at the face I like here. Uh, give me one. Give one to my mother. That's a face I like. <laughs> Amen. Buy one for somebody and uh, make sure that somebody doesn't know how you go on. You buy them in, for you, no, you buy in plenty. Danny, these are my sons. You buy like 100, see. Yeah, that's why I like you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ask somebody, have you got one? We have, we have chiefs here. We have monarchs here. We have kings here. Nana? I know, Nana. Nana, brother, Italian, brother. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Buy one, 25 cities. If you give, if you don't have, if you give 30 cities, and you, they don't, don't take the change. <laughs> if you give 50 cities, and you want to buy one, don't take the change. If you give 200 cities and you want one, don't give the change. Don't give them change. Tell them, Reverend Marquis says there's no change in the house of God. Otherwise, they'll call us money changes. <laughs> Hallelujah. And now, before I even sit down, um, it will be available at the um, information desk. And also, too, do you have copies of my book? Do you have copies of my book here? You don't have, eh? Uh, on Sunday. My books are available. Do you have copies of my book? Uh, you don't have it. Okay. Today is for God, eh? No problem. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> right. My books are also out there. Chasing Paper Moons. On Sunday, make sure that you come and get one. By the way, Sunday, Mahalia and Wayne are going to be here with us. <laughs> Second service. And I can't wait to just feast under the anointing and be blessed under the anointing. Hallelujah. Before I close, or before this thing, you know, sometimes you can come just for the first night to enjoy yourself and you want the blessing of God, but truthfully, you may not have a relationship with Him. It is most dangerous to walk out of this place to enjoy the presence of God and don't have um, a relationship with Him. I know what I'm saying. Um, last, was it, lawyer, last Sunday, eh? yeah, last Sunday as I was ministering, I called him out and I said to him, he's going to receive a contract. And just as we're talking on his telephone, pa, it happened this year. I said this year, this year, this year, this year. You begin to walk and begin to laugh. You don't know what's wrong with you. Hallelujah. It's a year of establishment. Your name has been mentioned in high places. Angels are reaching out to arrest you and to change something about you. You are coming into divine establishment. Businesses are going to flourish in this place. Mark my words. Businesses are going to flourish in this place. Brutal businesses are going to spring up. Multi-million dollar businesses. Like I prophesied, it happened last Sunday. And I'm telling you, it's going to happen again. I see it clearly. And I see people's dimension of money change. In the name of Jesus. And I see the glory of God. But if you are here. And you don't have Jesus. I don't want you to go away the same. I want you to start having a relationship with him here. So that you can also have the benefit of the blessing. If you're here like that, can you wave, lift, uh, lift up your hand over there, wherever you are, and you want a relationship with God. You know your relationship with God is not that okay. You want to make it right with Him. Can you lift up your hands over there so that I can, I can pray with you? Is that okay? Can they come forward right now? If you're here, pick up your bag and your person 
Why we clap for you? It doesn't matter what it is. Those of you outside, I salute you, man. I see that you are enjoying yourself now more than those of us sitting in the air condition. Hallelujah. You wanna, you wanna reach out to Jesus? If you are here like that, Amen. Is there anybody here like that? Okay. Hey, Happy New Year. excited to be in the house of God. Why don't you shout, scream, give God praise. People of God, can we celebrate the angel of the house? Celebrate the man of God, the father of the house, my father and your father. Oh, do it better for him, people of God. Celebrate the man of God, celebrate him, do it better for him. Can we celebrate Mammy D, wonderful woman. By the grace of God, they have helped us to cross into 2022. And I am excited. Please be seated in heavenly places. Wonderful. We have a Thanksgiving offering here. I want to read it. It will bring the service to a close. Well, how many of you love this church? Well, why don't you shout, give God praise? This Thanksgiving offering is so important that I have to read it before we close. Say, your grace and mercy has brought me through. I'm living this moment because of you. I want to thank you and praise you because your grace and mercy has brought us through. From Mrs. Victoria Marco, for those of you who don't know, that is Grandma Papa's mother celebrated. Thank God for her life. Or oh, do it better for her. Do it better for her. As you celebrate her, God will let you see the number of years you have seen. Hallelujah. So on Sunday, I don't know about you, but I cannot wait on Sunday. We have two services. The minstrel is coming again on Sunday. Very, very powerful woman of God. Just can't wait to experience her. But why don't you celebrate her and the husband one more time? Powerful. I was so blessed. Now, if you are here, if you are first time and you are here, you want to just lift up your hands. Our ushers and protocol team will come for you. We have something very powerful for you. We'll give you water to drink, but we can see that you are very thirsty. So if you are here, why don't you just lift up your hands? You are here. Please locate them. Please locate them. Give them some very cool water to drink. I realize that they have been dancing a lot. A lot of perspiration has taken place. So give them some good water to drink. Oh, if you believe that, why don't you clap? Give God praise. Wonderful. Wonderful. How many of you believe that 2022 is your year of divine establishment? Or that why don't you scream and shout and give God praise? Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Wonderful people. Why don't you rise up? Let's bring the service to a close. Come on, put your hand on your chest. So who are we? We are a people-oriented church, passionate about God's word, pursuing his glory, and persuading others to do the same. Please don't bend it. If you bend it, it means something. Else. Those of you who don't know, we don't bend it. Make it very firm. Minister Mohali, your husband, don't bend it. If you bend it, when we explain it to you, you won't like it. So make it very firm. Make it very firm and look into their eyes and tell them that surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. You shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Mommy loves you. Daddy loves you. We'll see you here on Sunday. First service at 7 a.m. Second service at 10 a.m. Wonderful people.